Okay, hello guys, so this is the Infinix Note 30 with the code name is X6833B and in this video I'll show you how to unlock boot loader, flash custom recovery and also flash custom ROM, okay. Okay, the ROM is very good, very nice, very stable and less of bloodware, lots of customization, okay. In this video I'll also show you to check the cleanness of the ROM and also the feature of the custom ROM, okay and this is so far the best custom ROM that I ever tested on the uh, Infinix Note 30 and you should try it there is lots of goodies right here you can do unlimited Google photo storage, her IPS, Snapchat and other stuff okay very good very nice and you should try it okay so stay tuned and check it out <laughs> Okay, hello guys, so this is the Infinix Note 30 with the code name is x 683 b And in this video, I'll show you how to do unlock bootloader, flash custom recovery, and also flash custom ROM. Okay, first thing to do, let's check the lighting system. Let's go to the setting, my phone right here. And go to this version info. And here we go. You can see right here, it's using the X OS 14. On the build number 576, okay, you should enable the level up person by a hit five times. Go back, go back again, scroll down to the system, level up option, and you should enable the OM unlock, okay. When enable enabling the OM unlock, it requires the trans count, okay. So you need trans count. If you just create the account, you need to wait for two weeks. Okay, if you already create before, you don't need to wait. Okay, enable the USB debugging, and we're good to go. Okay, make sure you are on on the Android 14, the global version, Russian or European Union. Okay, so this is the file that we needed, and this is the step. Okay, all the file and step I'll provide my block. Okay, first thing to do, plug USB cable, and when he asks for USB debugging, just hit OK, allow it. Okay, and get you right here. No put other is this must, so we already enable the developer option. Run USB debugging, to run the unlock. And now let's put it into the Facebook grid. Okay. Okay, open your CMD or PowerShell, ADB reboot boot loader. From here we need to do the unlock boot loader. Okay, just type Facebook flashing unlock. Okay, let's wait. And this command will allow you to put it into the Facebook boot. Okay, you can see right here. And then let's run this command, Facebook flashing unlock. And there is will be a confirmation on the pawn. Just press follow up. Okay, unlock out okay. It means that the bootloader has been unlocked. Okay, let's check the bootloader status. Fastboot device. <coughs> uh, sorry. This is our serial number, and let's check the uh, loader status. Let's put get for all. And from here, you can see point of stuff, and we can see the unlock yes. Okay, it means the bootloader has been unlocked. And pay attention to this current slot A. We need this. We will need this one later. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, done. Now, next step, we need to flash the custom recovery. Okay, so this is the command. We need to put the custom recovery on the vendor boot partition. Okay, so type fast boot space flash vendor underscore boot. And, okay, <clears throat> we're using the uh, 
Orange Fox version 240512 hit enter and then we need to boot it into the custom recovery okay just type fast boot reboot after you hit enter press volume up okay just press and hold okay you will see there is a warning sign there it, that is normal expected because we already done the unlock boot order okay good now we are in the custom recovery okay for the next step <coughs> It's always good to back up the email and baseband, so go to the backup folder, uh, sorry, the backup menu right here, new backup, hit the gear icon, enable compression for a smaller size, and uh, let's pick up the important partition. Usually it's, it is the N NVCFD and without the NVRAM, persist, persistent, protect, protect, okay. <coughs> Okay, I will put it into the micro SD. Let's give it a name. <clears throat> Email best ban. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> and swipe it. Okay. It is important if there is something wrong, we can always restore the email best ban. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, when it finished uh you can format the data okay let's select this wipe menu right here go to the format data tap yes okay it will format the internal storage and select the menu select reboot and select recovery okay now from here let's navigate to the sd card Okay, so like micro SD. So I already copy all the file in here. I will also put the link in my blog. Okay, check the, the zip in box. <clears throat> Select the folder where you have it. Okay, uh, from here I want to use the Evolution X. Okay, select Evolution X, and then <clears throat> like custom ROM. Okay, and swipe it. Okay, yeah, this ROM already included gaps. So you don't need to install gaps again. Okay, the size is about uh, two gigabyte, so it will take time. It should it should wait until it finishes. Okay, I will skip this part. Okay, now we already done. Okay, you can ignore this error messages. Okay, now let's hit the home button. Okay, from here we need to make the custom recovery permanent. Okay, so go to the file right here select the custom recovery okay we are using this one select the custom recovery and select the partition okay hit into the vendor boot right here and flash bot slot okay don't mistaken for other partition goes to the vendor boot okay fail to if you fail to follow this one, it will make your device break. Yeah, select final underscore boot. Yeah, wait, finish. Okay, from here, select reboot. Okay, and we're going to switch the slot. Okay, slot A is active. <coughs> so we're going to switch to the slot B. Okay, vice first. If you have a slot B active, you should switch to the slot A. Okay, yes, hit the switch to the slot B. Okay, done. From here, select wipe, format data, tap yes. Okay, and reboot system. Okay, now here we go. Now we can see the Appleson X boot logo is booting. Okay, replacing the Infinix logo. Okay, you should wait until it boots to the welcome screen. And now we are in the welcome screen. Just hit next, next until it's put it into the home screen. And here you go. Now we are in the home screen. Okay. So you can see right here we're using a very clean ROM, very nice, very fast. Okay. There is no bloodware. 
and it is just like Google Pixel. Okay, let's go to the settings about one. You can see right here. Go to the Android version, Evolution X Android 14. Okay, security patch July 5, 2024. Very nice. Let's open the dev check Infinite Infinix Note 30 Android 14. Okay, the, the battery is not very hot and you can see right here okay the ram that use the internal storage and other stuff okay very good now let's check the ram it is clean or not let's use root beer you can see right here not rooted very nice web police detector also said there is no magic elbows and let's open the snack it is usually used for safety net okay basic integrity pass it is profile file it is expected so you need to root your device to <coughs> pass this one okay and <coughs> okay sim card and wi-fi also working there is no problem with that okay let's check the email okay we have our email working there is no problem quite good and i also already <coughs> take picture and video okay this is the back camera the front camera front camera hello guys and this is recorded this is the back okay nice all the function camera and video are also working very good and of course in the evolution x <coughs> there is lots of customization Okay, from here you can go to the Evolver. You can customize lots of things. Status bar, quick settings, notification button, and other stuff. <coughs> and the goodies is in the miscellaneous. Okay, from here components proving. You can pixel proof. Okay, Google proof spoofing for unlimited Google storage. Higher IPS, so you will get high IPS on the game and play integrity fixed value <coughs> also can be changed okay very nice very good okay and the gps also working there is no problem with the gps okay i think that's all okay if you have any question feel free to ask in the comment section <coughs> okay that's all guys this is tutorial on how to flash custom recovery on the bootloader and also flash custom rom on the in phoenix notor c Okay, I hope I hope it helps you. If you need help, I can provide remotely around the world. Of course, it's not free. Okay, you can find my contact on the description box. Okay, okay that's all. See you in the next video. Assalamualaikum.